colorful imagination, electricity of consciousness, melting and goldenness, vast expression, effervescent joy, effortlessness. Tell me about the inner dance. What just happened? <laughs> <laughs> To know I'm free, to know I'm human, and there's this, ultimately this playfulness that, mm. that's afforded in that. And we, it is a game, and we can make mistakes, and we should try and enjoy and make mistakes. And To be reminded of that, I am one, I am human, I am free. To always be faithful already. Wow. And, and what's amazing is it, I feel like super activated, but equally essentially grounded. Absolutely. Absolutely. The roots are deeply, deeply holding. Yeah, yeah I just felt so playful, so cheeky and playful <laughs> and, and aware as well with this real guiding awareness, but just the fun bits that came around it. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. What a dance. This video shows the entire creative process that Malia and myself undertook as we created the amazing title, The Inner Dance. There was no pre planning. Everything you see in this video was shot live as the inspiration emerged spontaneously. The social meditations in this video, what is needed and what wants to emerge, were created by Vince Horn. So what we'll do for the beginning of it is we're going to drop ourselves into two questions one at a time. The first question is what is needed? And so this is really a chance for us to express from this connected space that we're finding, which I like to think of as collaborative consciousness, what's needed. So what, what does, do we see is needed? It can be internally, externally, anywhere. And then afterwards we'll go on to do the same with what wants to emerge. Okay, so do you feel ready to begin the, the process? All right, here we go. What is needed? Support. What is needed? Walking together. Nourishing nature. Open heart space. Happiness. Patience for each step, determination to keep going. What is needed? Holding each other's hands. Natural abundance. Divine connection. Youthful naivety. Playfulness. Bright smiles. Permission to be free. <sighs> Thank you. So I've recorded some of the things that we shared and now we'll do the same with what wants to emerge. And so this is, is about like from this space, from us, what 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 wants to be created what wants to come through from from this internal space outwards all right here we go what wants to emerge what wants to emerge the spirit of bali what wants to emerge simplicity and connection, what wants to emerge? 
inner guidance and inspiration, what wants to emerge? Energetic joy, what wants to emerge? Realization of oneness, what wants to emerge? Bold expression, what wants to emerge? Pristine and precise direction, like an arrow. What wants to emerge? Ah. <sighs> Thank you. Mm. So I'm really enjoying the energetics. Me too. And also, thank you for asking the question afterwards. It's so beautiful to pass it backwards and forwards. That's like how that. I, I received it <laughs> when you said, ask it again. I, I just went into this. Yeah, yeah. so All grateful. It was so wonderful to just really be prompted with your question very strongly, like, like, an, like the arrow. Mm. Cool. So let's, let's have a look at what came through. Mm -hmm. Natural abundance, holding each other's hands, divine connection, beautiful naivety. Mm -hmm. Into playfulness. Playfulness <laughs> and bright smiles. Oh yeah, could be right. That could be bright. Right, could be right. <laughs> Smile right. <laughs> oh, and permission to be Yeah. Clean. So what I'd love to do with these is kind of boil them down into a simple summary so maybe the first place to start is can we see any natural groupings here for these mm -hmm. yeah I would say it's uh, sort of more zoom, zoomed out from mm. from the perspective of, of a universe so like this natural abundance divine connection uh, mm. permission to be free comes from you know, a little bit like wider space, mm -hmm. spirit, mm. dropping into the physical more about what is our human journey, being the patience for each step, holding each other's hands, naivety, playfulness and bright smile. So I, mm. I could see two main yeah, categories. I guess. Is that kind of how you, did I hear you right? With this yeah. yeah 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 i feel like also the patience can mm. be on the human level as well yeah oh. so then what we what would be good to do is to kind of create like a just a phrase or that summarizes this pattern that we've seen here mm -hmm. and if we want we can also use one of these ones to be the main the main thing here yeah and then it would maybe be a combination of the two main things okay yeah, yeah, yeah. um what Makes me smile already. Yes. Bright smiles, yes. um, because this this phrase just came forth, which says, "I know I am energy, and I know I am human." Oh, I love that. <laughs> because it's like we are now coming from further up the spiral, right? Yeah. We are now acknowledging and recognizing what all of this wonder is, mm. and all of this wonder is and we know that we are experiencing this human game and yet again we know that we are energy yes. so it feels like we are you know coming further up the spiral looking down acknowledging that the existence of all of this and then okay acknowledging that there are some steps to be made as a human, as in this body, mm. and what is needed to to make that happen. Beautiful, I love that absolutely. So, mm -hmm. I'm I only the only step forward I want to take it to is just like a just to maybe make that a little bit more concise. Mm -hmm. So, so in the context of what, so what's needed to know humanity and energy, or to know energy and humanness exactly it's like this naive 
smile of just knowing. <laughs> um, so it could be, I know I'm human, if that can be. How about, yeah, to know I'm human, that's mm -hmm. what's needed. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, maybe we could be, we could bring in something to know I'm free and human or to know I'm right. na na natural and human or divine and human, something. To so know I'm a free human? Yes. And this doesn't have to be perfect right now because okay. we're going to blend it with something else in a minute. But okay. for now, I think that's... Yeah, that encapsulates yeah. the spirit aspect. So then now let's go into the what wants to emerge. So then we've got energetic joy, realizing oneness. Uh, oh yeah, thank you. Bold expression. Mm -hmm. So I think that was knowledge, guidance, and inspiration, um, wasn't it? Inner, inner. I think it was just inner, inner guidance mm. and inner inspiration. Guidance yeah. and inspiration, energetic joy, mm -hmm. realizing oneness, mm -hmm. bold expression, and pristine and precise direction. Yeah, and there like was an a, arrow. yeah, like an arrow that goes together so same again here can you are there any groupings that that naturally come through there seems to be an inner guru for sure mm. so i guess that's like these two definitely yeah. um, and that one maybe as well maybe simplicity as well and um, this idea of of a, a full existence because of like the guidance so i don't go to all of the different things that might come but i know and the bold expression is like bringing this this idea of a uh, yeah full presence full journey presence um and the idea of the inner guru meaning that can be inspired and at the same time, all the knowledge is already inside. Mm. I can be inspired by gurus or teachings or outer knowledge and, and trusting more and more of the mm. inner guru. That what just what what's just came to mind for me there was always already. Mm. <laughs> uh -huh. Just, I, I feel like I want to like make that make sense. Full presence of our journey. Does that yeah. make sense? Like deeper knowing can also be. Mm. Yeah. Should we replace it with that then? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Actually, that's very similar to inner guru. Actually, in a way, isn't it? Like, it deeper is. knowing <laughs> and inner guru. It is okay. So yeah, it's like I feel like the inner guru is kind of like the passive. Mm. And the other, the deeper knowing, is kind of like the active one. So yeah, it comes from a deeper knowing, but it's actual how to walk, mm. how to manifest the journey. That's why before it was, it was um, the journey. It was about the journey. Yes, and that that deeper knowing is sort of like how you act from from that deeper knowing, yeah. and then you listen to the inner. I'm loving that both of them have got a real like kind of what's the word I'm looking for um duality to oh, them yeah. don't they or yeah <laughs> inner outer and active passive yeah yeah because this is almost like the spirit and the human and then this is this is sort of like the I guess the the outer world and the spirit and then the human container and then this is like inside going inside it isn't it mm -hmm. yeah well, which i guess is the whole point because it's what's needed outside and what's what wants to emerge from inside and by bringing the always already notion mm -hmm. into this uh duality is being defeated so how do you think we can create a um a, like a, a, a similar summary like this of these ones mm -hmm. can we keep always already <laughs> Yeah, I was I was thinking about something like always knowing our guru, always, but always already can be, can be it, 
Yeah. Um, I'm totally down with that. When you're saying always knowing our guru, it comes to me the 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 notion of faith or faith, faith is faith different from faithfulness? Yeah, faith faith is different from faithfulness. Right? Yeah, but just that that faith. I'm faithful to that guru, mm. which is none other but mm. oneness. What? Mm. So then, can we blend that with always already? Always or faithfulness, always already, or always faithful already. Always. Let's try that. So what's needed is to to know I'm a free human, mm -hmm. and what wants to emerge is that I'm always faithful already, mm -hmm. in the context of this internal listening and acting from the knowing mm -hmm. always faithful already and to know i'm a free human mm -hmm. they feel quite like really balanced and complementary to me how do how about how do they feel to you yeah totally there is a hint of of sarcasm as mm -hmm. well because it's like who is actually speaking mm -hmm. to know that i'm a free human who is actually saying this? Is this the human who is saying this, or is it God? Mm. And then, and then that God is that which is driving which, that which is one. That inner heard. voice. Yeah. yeah. Okay. I love that playful aspect. <laughs> yeah. So it has it has a little bit of that, um, yeah, wider perspective of of it's a game. Let's play the game. Oh, so, so what just came for me was like always already play for playing or always already playfulness or... Sure, <laughs> because that's, that's a big, big aspect and, and all of these others, the direction, the expression, the guidance will be reinforced mm. once there is playfulness. Mm. And playfulness, what is? It doesn't matter if I win or lose, it's mm. a game. Yeah. So to see life in that kind of way. And that that playfulness really does tie into the human aspect and the free aspect as well, doesn't it? Yes. So like maybe we we could we could actually add to know that I'm playful. Mm -hmm. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Do you think that's a, a good development? Yeah. And is playful the right word to encapsulate that? It's also this naivety that you mentioned before. Yeah. Because yeah. that brings us again to that eye scope, mm. eye approach of, of life, of existence. And depending on the listener can be a little bit of a judgment on the naivety. Mm. You know yeah. what I mean? But yeah. playfulness is a little bit more all around encapsulating the that that notion no mm, yeah there is what it what it is and 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 i can approach it from this playfulness and and you, you're more you're more allowed to make mistakes from a playful aspect rather than from a naive aspect but... right because immaturity can can be related to the naivety no mm -hmm. like because you are at least that's how i translate it i guess from yeah. greek uh, but yeah, that totally more, makes sense. More yeah. corresponding. Yeah. But the playfulness, no, it's adult. Yeah. Adulthood playfulness. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, a child can be naive. Okay. But this one is is for us, it's adult. Yeah, it's grown up. It's, <laughs> it's yeah. And can still keep that, that fire of playfulness burning. Mm. Yeah, so I guess it, it then. Yeah, it, it relates a lot to the to the inner child, right? Mm. To, Which to could him. could be that inner guru as exactly. well. Exactly, exactly. Mm. I've got a really. Do you have an idea for what? So basically, the aim is now to boil these two down into one. I think we have this perfect idea of this sentiment. It's like it's this. It's to know I'm free, to know I'm human, and there's this ultimately this playfulness that mm. that's afforded in that. And we mm. it is a game, and we can make mistakes, and we should try and enjoy and make mistakes and and then part of 
part of that is like tapping the always faithfulness already is always faithful already is tapping into that inner voice that allows us to play so that's the sentiments that we're coming from and i love this but then what we want to try and do is boil it down into something that's like maybe two or three words yes. there is something which is coming through yes what is it inner dancer oh inner dancer because that yeah. that's what a dancer can can do right to yes weave in the movements by mm. yeah allowing this playfulness allowing the the faithfulness allowing the the freedom and it combines the the spirit and the physical beautiful <laughs> this is like the first thing that came through and so how about rather than in a dancer how about in a dancing right yeah because yeah. we there is not a one yes person is 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 the action let's say yeah yeah inner dancing oh i love this <laughs> how does that does that does that sound good as, a, as our title can we that's a title can we with that yeah this is our title <laughs> inner dancing yeah <laughs> love Feels it good. Yeah, yeah it really does yeah. I really feel I really and it also feels just so wonderful just based on like our kind of energetics and our <laughs> chemistry and yeah how it's all bring, being brought forth yeah mm -hmm. feels so good to me me too mm. okay in the dancing so what we'll do now is we'll go into an affirmation practice for this and this is a chance for us to really find and anchor this energy of inner dancing and we do this by saying may inner dancing arise how about this just to sort of make it flow a bit better in that how about the inner dance okay yes yeah because yes. then we can say may the inner dance arise right. the inner dance yeah. And later on, it will fit in slightly better. Yeah, sure. Do, that doesn't diminish it, does it, for you? No way. Yeah, it feels good. <laughs> yeah, because it dance. simplifies it, doesn't it? Yeah. Okay. The inner dance. We're already feeling, <laughs> feeling the energy saying that. Would you like to say it? The inner dance. Mm. It's a concept. Yeah. It can turn into a workshop. Yes. <laughs> Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> totally. a book yeah a poem maybe <laughs> this we got <laughs> cool